Right, so big day today. I'm replacing that uh, MPPT charger. That's a 40 amp um, with three of these, which is, uh, these are 80 amp MPPT chargers. So I'm going to mount them up there for the time being, leaving a bit of lead so I can uh, extend them and put them into cupboards when I come to it. But yeah, that uh, MPPT charger there is going to be replaced with the others. So, let's fit them. This is the battery connection, so I'm going to tighten that right in there. In fact, that doesn't look. What's going on there? Yeah, so it wasn't all the way open, but now it is. So I'm just twisting the wires so they keep together and putting them in there. Be able to secure it properly now. There you go, that's got it properly. So I've got a, a positive and a negative wire to go in each section. That's going to supply uh, the power once it's been converted into the batteries. And as far as I remember, you're supposed to connect these up to your batteries first so it knows what batteries it's supplying. And I'm doing a 12 volt side, so. Um, right, so a bit of an update of what's going on with the solar chargers. Um, I'm showing the 13.6 volts, I've got 19, just over 19 amps going in and the batteries are showing that they're pretty much full and uh, yeah I should imagine that's with how much light um, probably about two hours light and they were sitting at 12 3 12 4 before and now they're sitting at 13 7 with 21 amps going in which is really cool um, and that's just on four uh, panels at the moment. I've only got these two charge converters working at the moment. This one is not wired up properly yet. So currently, obviously this is all a mess still, but uh, all three solar charges are connected and um, they're kicking out power, but basically it's not doing anything because the batteries are completely full already. Um, but you can see that they're, uh, yeah, midday, well it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, they're fully 
coping with uh, the battery bank they're totally topped up um, and that's uh, running this sort of equipment so bench saws and all the stuff I need to uh, do the the fit out um, and I'm almost getting towards the end of the fit out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the the battery bank because I don't think I've showed you that yet stay there so out here underneath here Quite a bit of water in there actually, which isn't good. Uh, bilge auto. Yeah, it's because my bilge pump was uh, not switched on, so let's just drain that out. Needs a good clean out as well actually. bit strange that it's taking up that much water though. Don't know why that is. Clear it out in no time. <coughs> So here is my battery bank and um, so this is my starter battery and it has no connection apart through from the negative side um, which is my common negative throughout. Um, the actual leisure side there's eight batteries so there's one there, two, three four five six seven eight and that is my leisure uh, battery bank <laughs> and as you can see they're connected in a way that they they remain 12 volts and um, the solar actually comes through the back wall there and connects within um, the battery bank so there's a positive and negative coming from each solar charger uh, and so there's three connections that come and supply the battery from the solar and also I have a 175 amp um, alternator as well which is feeding the, um, the batteries as well if I need it to well if I need it to, it doesn't do it if I need it to, it does it constantly whenever the battery's running, uh, whenever the engine's running. But uh, yeah, as you can see, um, it's fairly neat. But I've got some of the external sheathing to put round as well, and I will put something over the terminal so they can never be touched. Um, but yeah, that's my battery bank. They are gel batteries, and they're 160 amp. Uh, gel batteries, AGM uh, gel batteries. Um, yes, yeah, so that's my. So there's the the solar panels on the top of the reef. They're working nicely. The wires are just coming across here and straight into the uh, into the um, solar chargers at the moment. So yeah, that's my uh, solar array and uh, what it's. Um, you know, just a bit about you know what I've been doing really I've, I've, I've put it in very roughly um, which isn't too rough but it's a bit rougher uh, than final fix if you like um, just so I could power the tools I was going to use and uh, have lighting and cameras working and things like that um, which has worked amazingly well there's obviously way too much power than I'm what I need anyway so um, yeah so it's worked well up to now I've been running it for about a month now uh, full power 
Um, is it a bit longer than that, actually? It's probably about six weeks. Um, and it's produced well over what I need, um, which is ideal. Yeah, so it's doing the job. It was intended to quite easily. And I think once I move on the boat, which uh, is actually not far away now, um, don't know how I'm going to actually finish everything off, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's literally, it doesn't look like it, but let me show you around quickly. So, an awful lot of mess still. Um, but as you can see, there's stuff being enclosed, there's radiators going on the walls and things like that. Um, this room is obviously going to be decorated because this is going to be the bedroom. Um, underneath here, it's still going to be done. Um, wardrobe is still got to be finished. It's getting there, but there's a certain amount in the wardrobe still got to be finished. And also sort of shelving and things like that. Um, hedge, hedge trims, doors have got to go on. I don't know if I'm going to get the uh, the fittings or the, the linings to finish off around the windows yet. Um, bathroom's still got to be completely fitted. Not far off, but still got to be fitted. Spare bedroom, not bothered about that. That's just going to have a door on and closed off and use as a store cupboard for the time being. But as you can see, there is no kitchen whatsoever. Um, that being said, in the lounge, it's not a great deal to be done in the lounge, it's just decoration and uh, you know, putting taking these out and uh, putting the, the trims around for the windows, put curtains up, decorate things like that, uh, and obviously put some sort of kitchen in. Don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but um, that's that's the major task that we've got to do and I've got about four or five weeks to do that. And that's looking after this mad head as well. <laughs> Cause he gets right in the way. So yeah, that's where I'm up to. Um, there's a bit more wiring to do as well. But uh, yeah, that's the, that's where we're at. So yeah. Quite, quite a lot, but I've given notice to uh, where I'm living at the moment, so I haven't got a great deal of choice now. A bit of added pressure, I think, uh, always helps. So we'll see how we get on. Um, fingers crossed. I did it alright. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I appreciate any comments, uh, good or bad. It just helps me learn a little bit. Thanks for watching.